The job of the production designer, just like any sort of aspect of the filmmaking process, always begins with a text. And so from there is where we launch the whole art department. And what that means, just like for an actor who creates a character that an audience believe in, the job of the art department is to create worlds and environments that the audience believe in. And hopefully through long processes, whereby we involve obviously construction, paint, plaster, set decoration, we complete a world that is in a sense completely real within the world of Game of Thrones. And I think where Game of Thrones actually needs a lot of credit is actually we really try and keep a lot of scenes in camera. So for as much as possible, we create total environments. I mean, it's an extraordinary thing to be able to build a 360 degree space. On every level, we try and be very thoughtful and mindful of the colours that relate to the character involved, their status in society, and what do we want an audience to know about them as they're moving through the landscape. We were looking at the world of Dawn and the Spanish and Moorish influence. The exciting thing about Dawn is it's the warmest of the climates that we visit. It's also incredibly exotic. And so I think it was a real opportunity for us to introduce colour into the world as well. You know, these people are much more into sort of oranges and blues, and there's a real vibrancy and energy about the city or about the place. And so Seville in Spain was the natural place for us to start. And we were absolutely beyond lucky being able to shoot in the Alcazar. The thing that was really interesting about the Osuna bullring as opposed to any other bullring that we sort of managed to source was that in a sense it was just very plain. It had sort of the stone bleachers and what that meant was it really had a fantastic relationship automatically with marine. So being able to work with a, what was essentially quite a blank palette meant that it had a very close relationship to the sort of the architectural language that we'd already established. And I also enjoyed the very big pillars at the side with the angles on them, which related to the pyramidal style architecture we'd already used. And what we had to design there was a royal box for Danny and her guys to be in. And what that meant was we were able to do a completely clean build out in that arena there. It was a completely different style of construction. It was a full-on building site for weeks, and it's just a function of this show because we're doing so much at once is phenomenal. So it was something that, um, from my perspective, I've never seen done before.